Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you're watching your Technical Spark channel friends recently i had a live session with my members who joined the community and during the discussion uh, as i you know explained earlier that if you want me to make a dedicated video on the customization of the message templates then let me know and the same query i have received from my members so this is what i'm going to cover in this video because after installation of agent if any user face any issue in the dlp then it's get difficult if in case user is new that where to contact and who will address the query so we can address those things using the message templates as well as we can dictate user while using dlp or you can say when any violations happen on the user endpoint we can instruct user to do so and so things and do not so friends instead of theory let's check it out practically that how exactly you can do that after this small intro video hey welcome back guys now to get started okay let me very first open my file explorer and in this particular uh, our postman security manager server will have to navigate to the directory where our postman application is installed so i'm going into the data security and there is one option available called custom endpoint and message files guys if you remember in my previous video i have explained that this is the you know different different language which is supported by dlp agent and the matches which appears on the user system okay those all matches are stored in this particular file for an example let me just edit one of the file it's english okay so you can see there is so many matches ids are available correct so as per your requirement even if you just simply read this you will get to know what exactly this is this particular message is trying to say right but don't worry i will teach you everything in detail but before that let me just launch my postman security manager so that i'll be able to show you where exactly those xml files are mapped into your postman security manager so let's log in with our admin credentials skip the license warning yeah and once you logged in you will simply have to go to the endpoint profiles under deployment okay so it depends uh, on how many profiles you have available but right now i just have one profile so let's open that and when i go to the properties you will find xml file right english.xml see these are the files which i'm talking about there are total 12 files are available and when we uh, click on this particular drop down here also again we have 12 files but to demonstrate what i'll do i'll just go to the one of the endpoint uh, user system and let me show you before and after changes okay so initially we'll check before what a message we are getting on the end user system so let's jump to the one of the client machine for fact this is my client machine now for an instance let's open our postman security manager okay and for an example uh, let's click on disable okay so what it says ability to bypass the protection okay so this is the standard uh, you know notification or you can say message which is provided by the force point so what we'll do we'll just remember few of the keywords ability to bypass let me just take a screenshot of this particular message also just for my reference snapping tool this is our favorite tool okay so this is the snapshot which i have captured we'll keep it here and now we'll go back to our force point server perfect guys now what we'll do we'll just simply duplicate this particular english file and rename the the new file name so custom enter now let's open this particular file edit and we have seen the keyword like ability to bypass so let me just type ability to bypass enter okay we have just one keyword so let's make changes into this particular file which is english custom ability to bypass protection from force point dlp endpoint can be enabled for a limited time please contact your okay let me maximize this and change the format to wrap uh, where is it gone okay here we go please contact your administrator help desk to obtain a bypass code 
so what i'll do here i'll simply you know make little changes please contact your administrator help desk uh, let's change this to technical spark okay please contact your technical spark help desk to obtain a bypass code now i'll again change this particular format to normal one okay where is gone ability to bypass perfect so let's click on save and close this okay english custom now let's see whether i'm able to okay this is not available so what we'll do we'll simply refresh again go to the properties and let's check okay english custom file is available let's click on save and deploy configuration has been successfully deployed now let's go back to our test machine this is our previous message so what we'll do we'll simply click on update the last updated time is 402 okay it looks like to be up to date right now let's click on disable and see we got the new message please contact your technical spark help desk to obtain the bypass code so hopefully you got the power of you know what exactly that custom message template means and where exactly it gets update so this is the earlier message where it shows administrator and in the new message it shows technical spark so then guys this is just an example because i'm not going into the very much detail so the way i have you know explained you you can also do it the same thing from your end you can check out which are the messages you would like to modify uh, from the default one right by understanding the use case or you can create your own use case right you can also pro yeah, add here you brought up your contact details where people can directly you know dial and reach out to you guys if they in case wanted to bypass this for some uh, some period of time then you can explain them the process that what are the approvals are required and other stuff this is just at high level to give you the information so just test it out at your environment and let me know how it works but the only one thing which you will have to concern i know need to think about is that let me just go back here and uh, whenever guys you uh, create a or upgrade the agent right so you must be creating one agent package at that time if you are going to replace these files okay just always make a uh, you know, note of the changes like for what are the ID is you have made the changes and store those somewhere else so that next time if you you know do the replacement of the same file then you will have to add this you know create a duplicate file because we never know now that uh, right now let's say we have a couple of IDs right till 2019011 but later on if the new ID comes then Postman usually appends all the information in the same sheet so at the time what you can do you can simply replace you know create a duplicate copy of the existing one and provide the same name right like english custom as per your language and then for that particular id the way i have you know made the changes right now you can also do it the in the same way and then you will have to add select that particular xml file into the endpoint profile if you have multiple profiles then as per your requirement you can choose those and after you save the changes okay you will have to deploy the policy otherwise the changes which you are making will not take effect so hopefully things are clear as always and if you found this video useful then give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues enable the bell icon so that as and when i'll upload new video you will be getting notified and if in case if you want to access my videos little early then become a member by clicking on join button so that's it in this video. This is Sohan signing out. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.